Shit, you know, uh, I guess another hot story that was coming out is this motherfucking game and, and 40 Glock situation. You know, 40 Glock was, you know, going around so-called, putting pressure on niggas and shit with that fucking, what is it? Who was it that he had run, uh, plies run up in the bathroom and shit? You know, they caught Lil Wayne up in Cali and shit. So, you know, they everybody thought that, you know, he was this big time gangbanging type nigga. And then, you know, situation with game. I don't really got the full story, so I can't really say I'm only going by bits and pieces, although... I feel like that shit was kind of shaky because, you know, Game did not put out the full video and shit. But, you know, right now, 40 Glock got a lawsuit out on the game and shit. Like, what the fuck is going on with that, cousin? Like, I don't know. Like, how do you feel about that situation? Shit, you know, I've been, I've been down, you know, like I say, homie, nine and a half now. So, you know, I I really ain't been, you know, getting a, getting a real... Uh, getting a real overview of, of, of everything that's been taking place amongst what 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 uh, uh Fody Glock been putting down out there but when I left the streets, you know, that was my kid, man. Yeah. You know, he was he was a dude, you know, uh I used to I used to let push with me in different areas and I used to go to this projects out there in coast and uh, you know, they embraced me real strong. So it really surprised me that Cubs would take the street issue into the into a legal issue, so you know I, I really don't know the details, but I know don't nobody cause uh, take no activity that go on in the streets cause and, and put it in the white folks business. <laughs> so you know I'm I'm not I'm not feeling that one bit. So yeah. when, you know whenever I touch down and highlight cause man, you know if, if if he really went that route, you know I, I gotta ask all communication because I don't fuck with no bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. As I tell niggas, all them in the politics and shit, I don't run with the boys. So once you start wearing wiretaps and shit, mm -mm, I, mm -mm, I'm an anarchist, dick. Like you dig, like, like that should really fuck me up. That shit, re it really hurt me to the heart because you know he was supposed to be rapping this crip hop shit, you know, rapping the movement. And then when you pressing charges and shit on niggas, that make us look bad. And you know this nigga game is already a suspect type nigga from day one. It's like you pressing charges on the game, the game, the game, nigga. Come on, like. I don't know. Well, yeah, game, game got a game got a lot of support among his homies because you know, um, you know, he put that two whoop out there real heavy. You know what I mean? As far as his representation and uh, you know uh, his background, like his mom's from Hoover Cliff, and you know uh, he used to he used to be in Santana Block Hood. He was pretty much raised over there, so you know uh, he 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 got a, he got a a, a strong a gang background, but uh, as far as you know, his activities, you know, he ain't he ain't really looked at as no hell of hell of a reputable, but at the same time he get his respect because he pushed it out there like that. Now on a personal note, cousin gave me several shots out, you know, in, you know, on different projects, this, that and the other and he say we met at a particular venue, I think the hip hop summit or something like that. And uh I don't really never got at me sideways or said nothing foul to me, cuz, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. if, 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 if it's ever, you know, if it's ever an issue, cuz, between him and a homie, of course, I'm gonna ride with a homie. But no at doubt. the same time, I'm not finna sit up, I'm not finna sit up and bad mouth cuz, because he ain't never bad mouth me, so, whatever they got going on, cuz, you know, hopefully it'll get resolved on some G shit, cuz, and, and, and not up to no courtroom, cuz, ain't nothing gangster about that. Yeah, that's real. But yeah, of course, yeah, I, I I give him a little bit of respect for for shouting you out and shit. But you know, what's he gonna do? Like he 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 shouts out all real motherfuckers. How can you not shout out the big homie and shit? You dig? It's like you you got to give him respect because you know he he brand his gang. But you know other people brand is that swoo woo like Lil Wayne and and Jim Jones and them niggas Fugazi too. You dig? It's like can't only give him but so much credit. Can't really give him full credit because he he brand his gang, which is what you're supposed to do when you're gang related. You're supposed to rep your shit. But it's like. Mm -hmm. You rapping your shit, I understand, I respect it. Cause I got niggas that bang, I've been banging Swoo Woo since forever now. You dig? So, uh, I don't know. Like that whole situation, it just got me fucked up. I was never really like the documentary from that from that album. I already knew something was up with the game. Like he was an NWA groupie. He had nothing to do with that movement at all. Like you got NWA tatted on your chest, like, and then you go with the butterfly on the face. I don't know. That was that, but that's just me though. Like, but yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, that like, yeah, the but the butterfly kind of threw me too, but. You know, I think uh, that Ian Way is, you know, he trying to, 
You know, he trying to get something that, that shine, that content had when they was at their peak. So, you know, gang, a good gang of cats do that. You know, yeah. I'm not saying it's, it's, either, it's either good or bad, you know, but a gang of cats, a, a latch on or something like you got to, I've seen cats the other day talk about, uh, you know, I'm whoopty whoop from Dog Pound or whatever, and, and they ain't never made an album or never hung out with the click. But, you know, they want to rep that just because, you know, that's associated with Long Beach and, and with, you know, uh, you know, with, with the with the power that pushed the Long Beach on the celebrity level. So, you know, and, you know, people do it good. You know what I mean? You can't you can't really uh you can't really knock nobody for how they how they figure they gotta get their uh how they gotta get their own shine in by attaching themselves to somebody else. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I I I don't ever knock what a nigga do to get by, like I don't knock how a nigga get his money, like I just don't condone to certain things, like for example, people like Nas, Jay Z, I guess Puff Daddy, you can say that they're lyrically talented. So go do what you do, but I'd rather put my money in a real nigga pocket because you a bitch nigga getting money, you dig that? But that's just, just my aspect of it. 